Hey YouTube, um, my name is Cindy. Uh, my page has got banded 2007. Uh, however, I do have me a little cheat sheet here. Um, I got banded uh, August the 10th, 2007 in Monterey, New, uh, Monterey, Mexico. First time I've ever flown. Um, I researched um, a Dr. Zapata in Monterey, Mexico. I researched him for about a year and a half before I decided to go on with the surgery. Um, I have a 9.75 Enamed lap band. It's spelled I-N-A-M-E-D lap band. When I went to Monterey, Mexico, I weighed in at a whopping 232 pounds, which I am about 5'6". Um, that's a lot. Um, I was in a size... I was in a size 20, should have been in a size 22, but the thin girl inside of me wanted to stay at a 20. Although they were very, very snug. I'm having a problem getting pictures and stuff on here. Um, I've not quite got the whole YouTube technique per se down. So, anyways, I weighed in at a whopping 230. My BMI was at 35.6. That was August 10th, 2007. Here it is, August the 31st, 2011. And as you can see, let me back up. I am a big girl still, but I'll tell you the reason why. The reason why is I lost a hundred, I'm sorry, no I didn't lose a hundred pounds, I'd like to now. Um, I lost from 230 to 180 in about a three year period. You know, I wasn't looking to be like a big skinny mini, I just wanted to be able to go out and play ball with my kids, um, and be comfortable. However, although I did research the doctor for a year and a half, I didn't even think about the lifestyle change that I'll have to make. So, needless to say, that's why I stopped at like a 180-185 between, you know, fluctuated. Um, I did not change my lifestyle. Um, I tried to make myself be able to eat what I was used to eat. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't work. Um, so now that I have done a little bit more research, I figured out that it's called PB, productive burping, when you eat and you get that like right, right in here, because your stomach's actually almost right underneath your boob, right underneath the boob, um, or the start of your stomach. And like right there is where my band is. I would get this, ugh, oh, feeling like I was stuck and this burning feeling. And I would rub down, rub down, trying to get the food to go down. You know, that just wasn't happening. And you get saliva, like you got that throw up feeling. And of course you go, you uh, and you know it's right up. And you're unstuck. Yay! But still, I did not know then what I know now. Thanks to, um, New Toy for Katie. I wish a million times that I would have watched you before I made the mistake of listening to my family, listening to my close friends, and they look like Cindy. That cannot be right. I mean, you should not, you should not be throwing up like that. That's not good. That could cause band slippage. You know, um, that just is not good. So they got me thinking, oh gosh, there's something wrong with me. You know, this should not be doing this. So I go back to all my papers and it says I shouldn't be throwing up. <clears throat> so I'm like, great, there's obviously something wrong. So in my 
9.75 I had built up to a 6 um, which is a 9.75 cc I, I had 6 in my band so when you go to Mexico to have your surgeries done, there is a place here in the States called Field Centers USA. You can look them up online. Um, if there's any of you out there that are ha that uh, are contemplating on going to Mexico because your insurance won't pay for it, um, I say go for it. Uh, you can look up um, readyforachange.com. It's ready, the number four on your keyboard. Um, a change.com and that's the big website um, I met numerous people from out of, from out of state uh, you know out of the United States when I was in Mexico they were coming there to get their surgery done and if I can find my paper I can tell you the cost okay Okay, my post pre op test and hospital expenses was $2,000 US money. My band was $2,000 US money. This is all US money. Medical fees, which is a first assistant, the anesthesiologist, the nurse, and the surgeon, was $3,500 for a total of $7,500. Okay, um, that is fantastic because the reason then is I got to stay in a five point four points Sheraton Hotel in Mexico which was phenomenal the hospital there is immaculate very very clean I highly recommend it to anybody and as soon as I can figure out the whole YouTube thing I'll put pictures um, from the plane from the landing from the airport what I've seen out my window with the airplane, what I've seen out the window of my hotel, what I've seen out the window of my car, of my hospital. I'll, I'll have pictures of the inside of my hospital room, inside of the hospital. So anyways, getting back to um, the friends and the family telling me that there was something wrong. So anyways, I listened to them and I went to my field center that I had been going to since I got back from Mexico, six weeks after I got back from Mexico, and I just went down there and just told them I want it all out. Something's wrong, um, dry skin, um, my, <clears throat> I'm losing a little bit of hair, I mean look at this, really, how much hair, I mean really, this is like thickness, but anyways, so reluctantly, he, he tried to talk me out of it, and I so wish I would have listened to him, but I didn't. And I had it all taken out. That was June of 2010. So that was June of last year. I don't know the exact date. So anyways, from June of 2010, when I went down there, I weighed a 178 when they took it out. What was I thinking? If you are having a problem like this, Get on YouTube, find you some liquid vitamins, take vitamins. I didn't take vitamins. I didn't eat my protein. I thought I could eat how I had always eaten, but I couldn't. And that just was not registering in my brain. So anyways, I made the sad mistake of getting it all taken out, all six cc. First thing I did was went to Outback Steakhouse, had me a blooming onion. I thought I was flying high. I thought... You know, I went for three years. I know how to do this. I don't need this fan in order to lose weight. Well, you know what, Cindy? <laughs> you need that band. Because now here it is, August the 31st, 2011, and you, my friend, have put it all back on in less than a year, or a little over a year. So what I'm trying to say is if you are thinking about getting lap band or if you have gotten lap band and you're second guessing yourself, don't never second guess yourself. Go with your first thought. Um, if you thought it was right, 
in order for you to go through your insurance process or whether you went online and researched and you went to Mexico or wherever and got your surgery, obviously you thought it was the right decision or else you wouldn't have made it. So don't, don't listen to your friends when they're telling you that there's something wrong. Go to your doctor. Ask questions. If I were to just ask my doctor and I would have told him what the deal was, he could have probably told me right up quick what the problem was. So look to get in liquid vitamins. Because I, I don't know if anybody else out there, um, that has the lap band or gastric sleeve or anything like that. I don't know if you have a problem taking pills, but I could not take even the smallest pill. I would have to crush it, and then it sometimes was just bleh, and would come right back up. So I am looking into getting liquid vitamins. So if anybody out there in YouTube world knows where I can get some liquid vitamins, please, please, please let me know. Um. Anyway, Cindy got banded 2007. Here it is, 2011, and. Thanks to New Toy for Katie. Katie, you are my inspiration, just to let you know that. I have watched you from the time that um, you decided to put your video on. You inspired me to do this, which is really weird for me because it's kind of look. I've got my uh, laptop sitting on my mantel of my fireplace sitting in front of my big screen so it looks like literally I'm trying to look at the camera the whole time in order to not stare at myself. But anyways, Katie, you're awesome. You keep up the good fight. Keep us posted. I love watching your videos. I've watched you from the time that you decided to do a video and you were unsure. Well, I'm there. I'm unsure this video thing is kind of weird for me, but I am going to try to do it. I'm going to try to hold myself accountable. I will hold myself accountable this time. I love to run. I've never tried the cycling. Um, however, although I am 230 pounds, I can jog. I don't per se run. I do jog very slowly. I mean, I was jogging three miles, and it took me an hour to do it. But, A, an hour, three miles to go. But I am going to do the couch to 5K. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going next week, next Thursday, to Gaston, Alabama, which I'm from Tennessee, so in case you didn't hear the southern slang, um, I'm going to Gaston, Alabama next Thursday morning at 9.30 a.m., 10.30 my time, and I am starting all over again with my field. Pray with me that nothing has went wrong with my band. I don't feel that it has, but once I get in there and they have to do the uh, fluoroscopy so that they can see it and all that, let's hope everything's okay. But until then, this is Cindy Got Banded 2007 and I'm starting over again. I am going to try to um, get me a Facebook page started up, which will, I'm not going to say the name, I'm going to try to make it as close to the YouTube name as possible and that's where you'll find a lot of my Mexico pictures, my beach pictures from after Mexico, two years out from Mexico, a lot of family pics of me being small and my face being real thin and then of course you see my pictures now. So um, but anyways this is Cindy Got Banded 2007 starting all over in 2011. Um, I will see you, I'll try to do one next Thursday, maybe, next Thursday afternoon, Friday morning, after I get my feel, and I'll let you know what I think, what the doctor said, but anyway, this is Cindy Got Banded 2007, signing off, see ya.